Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you this video that can actually strengthen your skills in either customer service, sales, or maybe in everyday life. Number one, speak with confidence, give them eye contact, give them full assurance that you know what you're talking about. Number two, talk to them like you already know them in a natural and appropriate way. So you have to adjust to your customer. If you see somebody that's maybe an older crowd, like, hey, ma'am, sir, do you need anything? Can I help you out? If you see somebody that's younger, kind of loosen up. Hey girl, how you doing? Hey, Miss Lady, can I help you out today? Where y'all going? Y'all going out? So you want to kind of spice it up and don't talk like a robot. They will respect you even more if you act more of yourself, rather than just acting like you're reading from a script or acting just really boring. Number three, give them options. Everybody loves options. You never want to rush your customer. You want to show them either something in a different color or it might be something that they might like depending on what they were looking at beforehand. Number four goes hand in hand with number three because when you are trying to give somebody different options even if you know that they might go to another store or even though that you might lose a sale because nobody really likes going online that is really not your problem and that is really not something that you should be afraid of you should be the person that they can go to that they can trust that they know what you're doing they know that you can always help them they know that you always have an alternative number five Try to relate to your customer, even if it's giving them a compliment or saying that you have used the product before or you have known somebody that has used the product to make them be a little bit more open-minded to it. When you're being more genuine and you're speaking from your point of view and the stuff that you've experienced, they tend to take that a little bit Number six, go the extra mile. If you have to go and try to locate the product in another store, or maybe even do your own research at home of products that used to carry the other product, or maybe somebody that knows even more information about it, the more research that you know, the more that they're going to listen. You definitely want them to listen, but you have to make sure that you're listening just as well. And also going the extra mile means checking up on them. Hey, do you need anything? Even if they're just looking around, ask them, are you looking for anything in particular? Ask them what they like, what they don't like. You never want to assume, but you do want to keep in mind that you are evaluating them the whole time based on their style, based on their vibe, based on maybe where they're from. Number seven, never count somebody else's pockets. You really don't know how much somebody's going to spend. A lot of people do go and act like they don't have money, but they really do. So whenever they tell you, oh yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, you just say little quick slick things like, oh, why don't you get it today? You know, this is the last one left to make them kind of think more of, oh, well, maybe I should get it today. Um, you never want to push them too far because they can kind of look uncomfortable or they don't want to buy it or they kind of think that you're coming off in a really cocky approach. You never want to cut yourself short. Being afraid that they're going to either say no or put stuff back is really not a good excuse on cutting yourself short. You want to try to even go the extra mile just by suggesting something. Honestly, me, I used to go and throw stuff on the counter and be like, oh yeah, um, let me get you this too. And they would just roll with it. Some people are open to that. Some people are not. You want to kind of know when to do it and know when not to do it. It's kind of hard. I have to admit because predicting wise, when you're talking, you're also reading them at the same time. So sometimes the way that you think something's going to turn out, it might not even turn out that way, but it's always good to try. And now if it's a red flag in your head, like, oh, they're already pushing back. They're already not digging it. Let me just kind of back off and try something else. Number eight, in your free time, you want to check the inventory to see what y'all have, see what y'all don't have, see what you could put together, see what maybe some things that people 
possibly will be looking or asking for. I know that when I <clears throat> enter maybe even a clothing store or a shoe store and something is going to release, I go on my app and I see when it's going to release. You never want the customer to know something that you should already know working there because it'll look like maybe you're new or maybe oh she doesn't pay attention or oh um, i don't think she'll be able to help me the right way so i'm possibly gonna go to somebody else number nine please keep the same energy consistent easy flowing good energy throughout the day try to avoid annoying text messages that might irk your nerves try to not let a customer client or even employer staff get to you it can be overwhelming just even looking at people all day number 10 which is going to wrap all of this up because i feel like this is mainly the overall idea of what we do this for and how we can get better at doing it. Always be open to drop bleh, bleh. always be open to try different things and be open to use different tactics on different customers. So even if it's down to using a catchphrase, even having a product that's been sitting there forever and trying to sell them, try to strengthen your skills and always educate yourself on the newest thing coming out. And even if it's something that you may not think that's important, but it might pop up, just learn it anyways. I mean, it probably won't take long. It's probably something that people are going to ask for in the future. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Thank you for watching my video. This is a video that I created out of my own experiences. So I do have a lot of experience in dealing with different personalities and selling a lot of different merchandise. So yeah, tell me how you like this video. Um, I would love to see you use this with other people. Try to tips yourself this may help you if you use them like me or even put your own twist to them so i would love for you to drop it in the comments or if you're interested in being at more videos like this make sure you subscribe and follow me on instagram and twitter